What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here. Welcome back to my true first person shooter tutorial series. This is part 2.2, an updated upload for Unreal Engine version 5.3. Using the old method, a couple of things were a little bit tricky, a little bit broken, so I've decided to re-record part two in two parts just to give you guys some updated information. If you still are using an older version, say Unreal Engine version 5.2, you can still find the old upload if you just search True First Person Shooter Tutorial Series Part 2. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the mouse input, the camera input, to rotate the spine bones of our character to make them look up and down. You may notice that I have reused some old recordings, but I've tried to make everything as seamless as possible. Uh, so without further ado, what we are going to do now is uh, make it so that our mouse input, our camera input rotates the bones of our character. So if you go over to your character's event graph, grab this camera input section and move it down here so we've got more space because we're going to add a bunch of stuff to this in the future. Um, and down here create a new variable and we're going to call this pitch of type float. If I hold alt and drag pitch out it will create this set node off the end here. Um, what we're going to do is take this action value Y, which is the input of the up and down on the mouse, and we are going to add that to the pitch. So this is accumulative. Every time you move the mouse up and down, it's adding, adding, adding to the pitch. Um, and we're also going to clamp this between the values of minus 18 and 18. Um, I'll, I'll show you why it's minus 18 and 18 um, in the anim graph shortly. Um, but basically, this the, I got this value because this is 90 degrees divided by 5. Um, I'll show you what I mean in the event graph, in the um, anim graph now. So um, actually, while we're in the animation blueprint, head back over to the event graph and drag off of this character reference and get pitch, whoops, get pitch and promote this to a variable. Plug this into the next pin here on the sequence. So in case there's any confusion here, um, when we create this variable in the characters um, blueprint, so we've created this variable called pitch in the characters blueprint, but we also need to, in the animation blueprint, we are taking this reference to the character, we're getting pitch, which we created over here, and we are promoting it to a new variable, also called pitch, um, within the animation blueprint. So this pitch here and this pitch here are actually two different variables but we are setting this one off of this one which is over in the characters blueprint um, so that we have access to it here in the animation blueprint if that makes sense um, I think that makes sense over in the anim graph okay we are going to take this cached pose here and drag it way out here because we are going to put a bunch of nodes in between um, just right click in some open space here and find, I believe it's called transform modify bone, transform modify bone right here. We're going to duplicate this a few times, but just before we do, we're going to make some changes. So over here, we don't need translation. So we're going to uncheck this ex expose as pin. Um, Rotation is the only one we are going to use. So scale as well, uncheck expose as pin and alpha unexpose that as a pin so you should just have rotation here and in under rotation rotation mode um, we're going to change this to add to existing um, now that that's done uh, we can select it and duplicate it four times so we have five of them 
plug in the cached pose to the first one here and you'll get this interim node local to component plug all of these in select all of them and press Q to align them and I'm just going to bunch these up because I have to I just have to I think some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about Uno memento, por favor. And select the first one, change bone to modify to spine one. And the second one, change it to spine two, so on and so forth, spine three, spine four, and spine five. We're going to find make rotator and we're going to plug this rotator into all of these. And so this is what I, this is what I was talking about when I said we're going to clamp these between minus 18 and 18. 18 times by 5 is 90 as in 90 degrees and we're rotating five bones here so whatever whatever this um, whatever this pitch is is going to be effectively multiplied by five because it's multi because it's um, modifying five of these bones here grab pitch and plug it into the roll here I know this says roll but the reason we've called this pitch is because we're looking up and down and that is pitch um, and uh, and that's pretty much it um, we are going to do a couple more things. Um, so just before local to component here, going to move this up and out to the side here. And we are going to look for one called layer blend per bone. Now this is, this is the node that's going to blend from the first spine bone up. It's going to blend in our upper body animations, which we're going to add later. We're going to create from scratch um, our animations for the hands, and this is going to blend them in. Select layer blend per bone, um, and here under layer setup, you can bring these down, find branch filters. We're going to add a new branch filter, and the bone name on this branch filter is going to be spine underscore zero one leave blend depth as zero and you can check both of these if we hit compile now you'll see the top half is just doing an a pose that's because we haven't added anything to the blend pose here um, that's fine for now uh, we're, we're just setting this up uh, for later later on we're going to um, add a new state machine upper body anims and um, and blend this in here and eventually we're even going to blend those upper body anims based on what weapon he's holding so you can have separate animations with pistol assault rifle etc 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 um yeah we're going to add a, a bunch of stuff to this but um for now um that's that's it go back to your character's blueprint um select the body and over here animation mode use animation blueprint anim class we're going to select the animation blueprint we've created which for me is anim bp chandra hit compile and save and if we hit play our okay oh i just need to change the max fps to 60 so that it doesn't chug there we go uh, so, um, oh, we do have one other problem here. So if I stand on this um, intersection here and I rotate, you'll see that he's not actually rotating on the position that he's standing on. So let's fix that real quick. Um, I'm guessing it's just the position of, yeah, so you can see he's not, he's not in the capsule component here. Um, Ah, uh, this is inherited from the first person character. So if we open up the first person character blueprint, 
we can actually delete this first person mesh right here we can delete that I know we cleared it in the last video but we don't need it we can delete it character mesh zero here what happens if we zero that out uh, we zero it out it's correct here but it's it's too high it should be down the bottom here um, so we might leave this third value as minus 96 negative 96 and that should do it he's within the capsule component there that should be correct yeah he's rotating on the position that he's standing on now we don't have any turn in place but you can see we've got running animations we've um, oh, we haven't set up jump or anything yet we've just got the running um, and if I look down a bit and press F8 to eject and have a look at him you can see that when he looks down the spine bones are rotating and he's looking down I'll look up press F8 to eject and our character's looking up the arms look a bit weird like especially if I look down and I eject um, oh, I'll look down a bit more see his arms are kind of like Penny Bay. He's just doing an A pose there. Um, but yeah, like I said, we haven't set up the upper body animations yet. Um, this is just blending from the first spine bone up and he's just doing an A pose because there's nothing, there's nothing in there. Um, but eventually he will just be holding his gun down in front of him there. Um, that's it. That's it for this one, guys. If you're getting this error here, texture streaming pool over x megabytes uh, budget um, what you can do is in the console command here and you'll have to do this every time you fire up the editor and open your project if you look for r dot streaming dot pool size and depending on your computer's resources uh, you know you can set this to a different value um, I just set it to 50,000 when I first fire it up you'll see that uh, that little error message is gone um, yeah so that's it for today guys uh, I think that's uh, some good solid work that we got done very very quickly um, we've set up an animation blueprint we have um, retargeted some animations and applied them to our metahuman We've blended from the spine bone, so um, it's ready to put in some upper body animations later on. And we have set it up so that our mouse input, our camera input, is rotating the spine bones of our character to make him look up and down. Nice. Uh, guys, please hit like and subscribe. And hit me up in the comments section. Let's get some chat started because I do try to read and respond to um, ideally all of the comments on my videos. Um, so yeah, get some chat started and uh, let me know what you think or if you have any questions or if something doesn't work um, as expected. Or hey, if you know a better way to do any of this stuff, um, also let me know because uh, I like the rest of you I'm here to learn um, I'm, I'm still very very far away from an expert at this stuff very far away um, so yeah um, see you in the comments section and see you in the next video